go, dog. You know what it is? Uh-uh. Deep water in the crowd. I put in 50 applications. Still can't get no work. But homie on the boulevard, he said he got that work. And shorty said, come over, talking about she got that work. Huh. Man, I'm thinking about it, but that ain't gonna work hard time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the critically acclaimed Vince Tucker Radio Show. Streaming live on Fishbowl Radio Network, Vince Tucker Radio Show.com. This is Heartbreak Tucker. Miss Kina. Your boy Yellow starting to build. King of Chaos, comedian Safe Runs. Yes, uh, main man Ramon is in the building. Uh, Kemp from uh, Two Speaker Radio, 11 to 1. Talk Ball was in there with us as well. And, um, you know, uh, you know, next to my right, right, I just got starstruck real quick. I just I had to catch my breath. <clears throat> wow. To, to my right of <laughs> me, a deep breath. He's a living legend. I'm going to tell you why he's a living legend. Because everybody wants to be like him and he's still alive. Um. <laughs> Our next guest is doing a live DVD oh, taping like tonight at <laughs> the Jesse Theater in Dallas, Texas. He's been all over HBO, Showtime, Stars, BET, Comedy Central. You've seen him in such films as House Party, Strictly Business, and my personal favorite, Poetic Justice, plus the appearances on ER, NYPD Blue, and us 80s babies, though. We know him best as the host of Russell Simmons' Death Comedy Jam. Ladies and gentlemen, put your left hand with your right for comedian Joe Torres! Are y'all ready for the next comedian? Hey, is he funny? Uh, he got it. Of course. Of course. Did the head and everything. Yeah. 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 Let's, 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 let's get to know the the man, the myth, the legend. Okay. So what was your childhood like? Uh, I I think I, I recently found out that you were a military brat. I don't think a lot of people know that. So what was your childhood like coming up? Uh, I mean, you know, uh, you mentioned all the different cultures. You know, growing up, I was born in Virginia. Uh, it was Newport News, Virginia, on the Army base. And then, uh, you know, so living that base life for a minute. Then I moved to uh, South Carolina. We were in uh, Seaside, California, Fort Ord. Uh, then uh, St. Louis. So, well, I moved to New York from, from Seaside, California. And then, then St. Louis is where I hail from. That's where I claim to be from. All right. But I mean, you know, growing up, five brothers and sisters, man, you know, you, you know, being the new kid in different neighborhoods and, you know, with the Army haircuts and the different clothes. You know, for a while, you know, that that uh, that kind of played against us for a minute. Like, especially when I went from Seaside, California, dressed like a little Mexican. To <laughs> <laughs> Jamaica, Queens, New York. <laughs> Getting the Mexicans confused with Puerto Ricans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. No. You never do that. Never. No. Yeah. I was scrapping the first day. Yep. You know, in the I was like, hey, whatever. They were, I had my little cowboy hat and boots on. And, and, and I look like no Tim's dog. <laughs> so, what made you get in the company? Because you got in this game with a early age, like 23, huh? Uh, I don't know how I think. Right after I finished college, I've been doing comedy, trying to do comedy since I was a kid, you know, you know talent shows, you know, Truth and Dare, uh, you know, and that thing, you try to be funny with the kids and situations, uh, you know, uh, uh, just, you know, anything around the neighborhood, man, like Boy Scouts, I did, you, 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 anytime they was trying to get on stage and try to do some comedy or something. Because I'm a musician as well, I play drums. Uh-huh. So, uh, so just anything to get on stage. And I, I always thought I was, you know, I was kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> but then, you know, you, you get to, you know, when I start bouncing around different neighborhoods or different, uh, should I say, cities, you know, I picked up a lot of cultural, just should I say, awareness. Yeah. So when I go to another city, I would have like different jokes or different things about different people because I was a new kid from a different, different place. But I was always trying to get back to LA or to California to be a comedian. And, uh, you know, so I, I knew that after I finished college, because I, I went to college on a football wrestling scholarship. Uh, uh, Shouts out to Lincoln. Right, Lincoln University, <laughs> HBC in Jefferson City, Missouri. And that's where I really honed the skills at. That's when you would test it. St. Louis, to me, it's like, that's the that's the place where you, man, if you, if you, get, you they joke, they do nothing but throw hots, which yeah. is known, yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. jokes all the <laughs> Everybody. I mean, nobody has to be a really comedian. The preacher, the bus driver, the yeah, mailman. Right. Yep. It's just owned like that. So I was the best at just cracking jokes, throwing hots. <laughs> so I just kind of turned that into uh, into the material as I got to L.A. And after I finished college, I went to work for a year. I uh, saved my money, worked at UPS, uh, Bristol Myers, which is now Bristol Myers Squibb right by now. And, uh, when I man, saved my money, tried to play for the Raiders. You know, that didn't happen. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> so my, my mass communication, journalism, broadcasting degree, you know, was always, always in effect as well. I did TV, radio, and most people. And uh, man, I just was trying to do everything until yeah. I, I hit. And you know, it, just, it just took off, man. After LA, oh. met the late great Robin Harris. Man. And, man. You know, he, he, uh, he took me from there. Oh, and, you know, being my age, I'm probably not supposed to know much about Robin Harris, but I actually came across Robin Harris at an early age, and I've always tried to get to. Find as much material as I can on Robin Harris. Can you tell me, you know, what was it like for you meeting Robin Harris and what kind of man he was? Uh, he's a fat man. <laughs> <laughs> a fat black man. 
Get that out of the way. Bad buddy, black man. <laughs> no, like Robin was cool, man. Robin, I mean, you know, Robin had his, his uh, everybody had their own little, uh, should I say, their own little personal uh, uh, issues. Uh -huh. you know, with, with him, he just, you know, Robin didn't take no crap from nobody. You know what I'm saying? He was, he's, he's like me, quick temper, you know, just like he was on stage, quick witted, quick temper. But off stage, I mean, a, a real kind and a uh, given person. I mean, he, he didn't know me from Adam. Um, but we just kind of, you know, he, he, he liked us from St. Louis, he liked my style, and he sort of took me in and he kind of talked to the ropes in, in, uh, in L.A. How to do the stage, just took me around. Ronaldo Ray, and Ronaldo Ray used to take wow. me. <laughs> uh, they used to put me up on stage and heckle me. Oh, wow. <laughs> serious? You know, I mean, but they would, if I could take it from them, I yeah. could take it from anybody. anybody. Right. One, of, one of the biggest lessons I used to learn was getting out of the way of me, which is learning the law of the land. Which is don't talk about gays, don't talk about Jews. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can go far right. with that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you don't know that. I mean, because when you, you know, when you're taught, you know, as a, as any man, to be the, you know, be the strong one, you know, in, out of the family, on the block, in the village, you know, be the strong, be the smartest. So you, when you go, you know, you go out to uh, wherever you're going, you represent well, you know, you want to, you know, hey, I got talent. But in Los Angeles, it's not like that. Why? You know, a strong black man is, is you know, with no vulnerability is, is intimidating. So, you know, <laughs> so you gotta learn how to, Yeah, because in our, in our craft, in our business, it's, you know, it's, it's ran by, you know, a lot of East Century gays and, and, and Jews who are great writers, and they've been doing this stuff for years. So that Bravo and Macho stuff coming in there, you know, everybody's more sort of artist than they are, or should I say, uh, on the block. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so you have to learn, the biggest lesson is to learn to, learn to work your environment, you learn to work your craft, you can't have, that's why you see all the black backlash now when people say something wrong, but, you know, and Glad is very, very powerful. Oh yeah, they are, they are. Yeah, they are. They are. I mean, for real, you see, they came and got, Tracy Moore yeah, before yeah, child yeah. services did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I'm like, yo. So, uh, so that's one of the biggest lessons I learned, man. Is remove, remove yourself from the problem. You know what I'm saying? The biggest problem you ever have every day is yourself. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you're in the middle because that's the only place you're going to fit. No, okay. No, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I fit somewhere else. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you see how high with the joke? Like, don't do it, don't do it, Joe. Don't do it. Don't do it, Joe. Don't do it. Don't do it, Joe. Don't do it. 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 Janet Jackson. Fine as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Lawrence. Funny, funny, funny. Def Comedy Jam. Life Changer. Guy Tori. Funky Rabbit. Who's uh, stealing all my jokes and making a living off of my plane. That's a good brother. <laughs> What's going on, people? Jermaine, man. Vincent Heartbreak Tucker, Behind the Scenes, Young Heartbreak TV, Urban Advocate TV. Uh, I'm here with legendary comedian Joe Torrey. Why do you got this bright light on us? Are we we not that dark. Is it me? Is it, am I that dark? Am I? Yeah. The dark, the dark hat, the dark shirt, the, the dirty mustache. Oh! <laughs> Did I say that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, no. tonight, tonight laughing in your face, live DVD tape taking place, 1925, Elm Street, Majestic Theater. Tell people what they can expect tonight. Man, expect greatness. Expect to make history. A million laughs in one night. I think it's going to be more than a million. Legendary comics, Joe Torrey. Man, I'm jumping off stage, butt naked at the end. <laughs> That's when all the dudes leave. Right? That's why jump. you zip a jumping. That's right. <laughs> you get your routine ready. Get my routine ready. Look how much money I got. Oh, the call of Miss Kina. Kina. Hey, you Miss know Kina. what it is. It's your girl, Miss Kina, hanging out with Joe Tory. Thank you for the pleasure. Oh. You she smell good? I'm the most lovely. They all say that. <laughs> yeah, she's, she smells good today. today. Oh, <laughs> please support your boy, Joe Tory. He's a good people. That is. Follow him on Twitter <laughs> at Joe Tory One. Visit Heartbreak Tucker, Young Heartbreak TV, Urban Advocate. See y'all next time. Just work. I put in 50 applications. Still can't get no work. But homie on the boulevard, he said he got that work. And started said, come over, talking about she got that work. Man, I'm thinking about it, but that ain't.